know, it's not just a nighttime mode. And I'm committed to doing this every day. And it's actually become this like great documentary of days in quarantine and trying to you know keep the steam going and and I don't think it whatever about being alone or whatever hi Karina just you and me girl (coughs) so um hi Lynn so yeah um I was silly last night and um it I mean who are we lately every day every moment every hour could bring up something we don't know and you know I can't ignore that I'm like still fighting this I did my did my son I I I just having a hard time with the sleeping thing I know this sounds crazy and I did post it but it was an only me post and it was like um there was a bird outside my window and he kept saying get me a taco get me a taco and if you listen to a certain bird, that's all they say is get me a taco. It's not, it's like, get me a taco, get me a taco. You'll hear it. I'm telling you, it sounds like get me a taco. And I just know everyone's going to think I'm losing it. But <laughs> that bird just drove me crazy. And um, I think birds and cats are now running this country. Um, but here's what really pissed me off. And I I lost it on someone today because like, what the fuck, especially like when I know this person well and I know their history. And I also know they keep freaking posting pictures more than 100 meters from their house. Like, what the fuck? So I if you guys saw, I posted um, about those people that just didn't have lemons. So they stole them from a mushav. Hold on. So anyway, they stole them from a mushav, stuck them in their car. And it's funny. And this schmuck. Yeah, and I don't care if they're my friend or not, because that's what I think of them. Anyway, I exploded on them on WhatsApp, but like, to, and admonished me. Let's use the right English word. Admonished me, tried to publicly humiliate me on my page, saying, How dare you post something like this when people are volunteering and they're. And I'm like, What? I, I ain't Kesha. There's no there's no balance with what are you saying you know it's just so stupid so (coughs) and um and I don't know if like when people have these comments what if it's wearing on my system on my like you know just energies but I did you know my son I did my walk I saw you know nobody with masks on and when I came back I just went ballistic on this human like what the fuck and then and I said a little bit what was going on and I said you know I you're a native I haven't heard from you I haven't heard you reach out you know this is a pretty crazy situation that I'm in with still you know not able to get like be a hundred percent during a pandemic not being able to go to a store on my own it's crazy (laughs) being afraid of people with every reason so he wrote back well you know best of health to you not how can I help you what can I do what can I send your way like how can I make it easier for you plume plume dickhead so I told him he was a weenie pretty much and then he left me some three minute whatever who has time but I think it just it wore me down I think what's wearing me down just it's just you know it's just as much as I'm trying (coughs) I'm still coughing and it's next week I will definitely because I know everyone's like would you get a a corona test already or COVID-19 test and it's not gonna matter I don't have a fever I'm checking of course I like I know all the science and whatever and friends are doctors and they're talking to me it's it's just it's still what I had I was like listen I was I was so sick that's why like my lungs could never ever take this but my message to all those people that think that they're bigger, better than the, the COVID-19, has anybody seen any young person talk about what this 
virus does to you. There was a girl recently in the one of the hotels here in Israel that's um, recovering. And I was like, oh my God, she's like, there was the burning in the eyes, there was this, and like, it was like a nightmare of a virus, a nightmare of a virus. Imagine anybody <laughs> that goes into it with anything, whether it be cancer, autoimmune, um, elderly, heart issues, someone like myself that already has a cough. And maybe I'm, I'm so attuned, but I don't think so. I'm a very empathetic human being and I really, like do things in order to care about others and my behavior is based on really it's not about me it's about making the world a better place for all of us so when I see people with neck warmers or just standing in the middle of the street half naked smoking their cigarette like I mean it's really a death wish out there for everybody not just those with immune uh, compromised immune systems wow we're on top of the game why because we're protecting ourselves but these asymptomatic fuckheads how dare they walk around holding a gun like a russian roulette to everybody's head it makes absolutely no sense can you talk about habima someone said it was about democracy too many people had their masks i saw a picture around their neck that's not democracy. It's like a mass genocide. Are they crazy? These weren't necessarily young people. I'm, I'm lost that people aren't watching what's going on in the news. I'm watch, um, I saw some girl write this very forthright post like, wow, what's wrong with Americans? They need to be reminded how to keep their masks clean and they're this clean and look at their numbers. It's so pathetic what's going on in America. I, you know, let's all wait till we start judging whites right i know bb's toting this it's the best place to be is in israel right now but let's see i know that the numbers in new york are decreasing and our numbers are increasing and i don't want to hear about the mortality rate i want to i i want to understand why so many cases why 12,000, 13,000 we're we're past what the projected numbers was you know in america they were under their, their numbers, they projected higher and they're below their numbers. But for some reason, you everybody's, you know, blaming someone. Who should we blame here? Because BB keeps saying how great the situation is here. Yeah, well, I know for myself, whatever happens and open up and, you know, they undo the lockdown and, and you know no one's going to be wearing a mask. I mean, they stopped taking the temperature at the store. I noticed they were taking temperatures, and now I guess it's not cool to take a temperature. What, did someone complain that they're losing their democracy in the pandemic? I mean, get a fucking grip. He's all this blame, and I think I'm just tired. I think my system is trying to fight and, you know, be there. I couldn't even put my bikini on today, and I've been putting it on every day to get ready for swim season, because my swim my season starts in two weeks, and whether I'm in that water or not, it's mentally, you know, like, so I need to condition to that, and I don't think I'm even close to it, oh, God, don't know, really, <coughs> I haven't been in the water in so long. They actually told me maybe the bacteria I caught was from the sea. So that's a bit daunting. Um, but again, people are asymptomatic and people aren't following the rules. It's like, let's play the game. Let's all put the mask on to see like who can still win the game with the mask on. You can win the game with your mask on, well, then you're a superhero and you're a champion. But the idea that you're walking around and you've never been tested, so you don't know if you're negative or positive, you're smoking, talking on the phone, with your neck warmer on or no neck warmer at all. The conversations I've seen going on through the streets. What about when people go through the with their windows open? Like half the time, there's not two meters on a sidewalk. So I choose to be on the road. And then the guy comes by, either smoking or whatever, with his window down, music playing. No mask. 
it's an urban area. We're not in a moshav or kibbutz. We're not in the country. Tel Aviv is a city. Like, I the people are running on the sidewalk without a mask. I can't walk on that sidewalk then. I mean, why... First of all, why would you? Why is a runner on a sidewalk? Like, they go in the road of anything, but like, ew, ew, on many levels, not just you're not wearing a mask, ooh, but like, <coughs> ew, you got, it's hot. It's cooties. It's all about the cooties. So, anybody, what are you guys doing? Drinking? This is tea. There's nothing else in it. I think that the, I can't do wine, it's too much in my stuff. But here, <laughs> public hell no, I'd love to smoke a joint right now. I'd love to just be in another dimension, and I can't do that either. And God, I haven't done it, and I wouldn't smoke a thing right now. It's not the time. Well, not the way I am, but even just this whole thing they said that smokers, you know, if their lungs are a little irritated, think about it. Like they're saying, if lungs, their lungs are irritated, so smokers have like, they're open to stuff. And so if someone's already coughing, it means like their lungs are reacting to something. I know many people think that I live in a pink world, and I actually do. Life is always pink over here in Cosmopolis. It's a, it's a, I dream, <coughs> genie's bottle. Oh, okay. So I was talking with a friend, and I love this topic. It's really interesting, and that is. You know, for those in solid, I'm in solidarity confinement, or it depends on the day, solitary confinement, but I'd say solidarity. We have food, we have, you know, all the niceties of the world, and we can talk like this. It's like my window on the world. So, couples, what is that like? Somebody chime in. Do share. Like, that's intense. And those family portraits is that really a representation of what's happening or is it like i mean do do you find things out about your mate that you that honey bear that you never knew and like then there's children on top of it and then i mean is your husband or or wife or partner are they working so each time they come back are they filled with germs and how are they dealing with being sterile and cleaning themselves and being responsible I have to say that there's a part of me that is quite grateful that I'm doing this all alone. And my parents keep saying, you know, we feel really bad. And I'm like, no, don't feel bad. I'm good. I'm so good. I'm more worried about you guys. I'm worried about you going to the market. I don't like that idea. But I tried to help and that fell through. it's low energy day because yeah it's, I'm having a it's not easy so I'm doing my best I can and one day at a time pretty much let's see who's around here hello Claire oh you missed it I talked to <laughs> I talked about your favorite topic um and um all right anybody drinking smoking what you doing all right today will be chicken soup from my favorite Sarah who brought me over some chicken soup and um, I'll drink my beet soup I'm still in Passover by the way everybody it just like um, it's what I have <laughs> my situation's so weird so whatever bread's not great for us I sure I, I keep making sort of a pseudo pizza but like the idea that that pizza place I'm like so tempted like but it's out of my hundred meters and I just I'm too afraid of like the people and I might have to ask someone to bring me a slice from Brooklyn pizza sooner or later um but I don't know scared scared of going back into society after this not looking forward to it and I just had a conversation with some girl and she was talking to me about dating she's like what are we gonna do like how's it gonna be and, you know, usually in Israel, we ask people, do you do Miloin? Like, you could always tell your Israeli, like, do you do Miloin? I was always taught that. And so it really gives you a sense of a guy um, 
is doing legit Miloim or like has some lame excuse to get out of it. But it's really not for me to say because like service is service across the board and Miloim is reserves and that's an added thing. And, you know, I'm sure it's not it's not very pleasant. Although I know a lot of guys that just absolutely love their Miloim. And it says a lot about someone that like did their army, did their service and then does the reserves and just like enjoys the camaraderie, time away from home. But now it's like, did you wear a mask during the pandemic? Or did you wear a neck warmer? And did you wear your mask? That's it, it goes here, everybody. I do a lovely DIY one if you need help on yours. Mine is like, it's really, it's coming together. Although it's, as it gets 80 degrees, it's really, it's like breathless. <clears throat> but I'm feeling without the mask, I'm suffocating out there anyway from all the stress of stuff. So. Um, anyway, so this is the girl's like telling me she's because women like they're single. Okay, listen, Tel Aviv is a crazy place. It's 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 singles heaven and it's 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 it's, it's orgy. It's this, it's crazy sex. It's crazy parties and indulgences and like no boundaries and it's hedonistic in Tel Aviv if that's who you choose to be or to be like and. So girls are having this issue that the the guys are sort of like, hey, come over to my place. But, you know, they then they can get a fine or they and just like get a fine. You're fucking playing Russian roulette with someone's life. You don't know if you're asymptomatic. You don't know what his deal is. Like, didn't everybody like anybody if you did or didn't grow up around AIDS or if you had anything understood the concept of AIDS that like every time you have sex with an individual, it's like you're having sex with all the people that that person had sex with so think about this also it's exposure so you have no idea who or what anybody has been exposed to for example a friend of mine is going to probably go back to being a gone teacher but i can't i won't go near her anymore unless she spends 14 days away from that because the exposure like it just the every every chance it's it's like playing a game of chess maybe i don't have the game right is it more of a battleship kind of feel so is it am i on a diagonal i can't tell (laughs) so no one has anything to say or am i missing what people are saying and i just am in a whole nother bubble (gasps) skippy you don't answer anything i write to you do you know how much I adored you in high school? You, you make me laugh so much. And now I see what you're doing. And it's so fabuloso. I want to get on your show. Come on. We have some. We'll get you some good Israeli products. You're sort of missing the end. Um, and it's not evening. It's actually about five-ish. Something like that. Right now, Skip. Um, and I'm in Tel Aviv. You knew that. I told you. So, and it's so much fun. Usually more Milburn High School people get on or college and everybody's harassing me, but everybody's pretty mellow today. (coughs) So, um, sorry, I'm not dancing, but you know, not always the class clown, right? Skippy, we can't always be the class clown. Sometimes we just have to just, I'm just trying to bring all the pieces together. I just... I, I, I don't know why I'm not feeling great. So, um, but do not tell me I can't put up a lemon type of post. I mean, what the fuck? Especially when I wrote this guy because he had, he bakes and he bakes something. I'm like, hey, bring something to your sicky friend, and completely ignored the con- the, the the comment. So. I'm wondering if I should just share the three minute whatever message he left for me, just like to say, I don't care. Listen, the dude's got history, ugly history. <gasps> Chris, hey, Skippy, Chris is here. Hi, Chris. I love your dogs. You're missing it. I just had the whole. I don't know. Then talk to me. I'll stay a little longer, but I'm kind of like kaput. I'm having like. <laughs> my cough isn't doing well and I'm really super tired and um I literally did my little walk and I just ended up like in bed and I'm like well I guess it's gonna it's gonna happen in bed you know who knows what happens in my bed stays in my bed lately <laughs> for months at this point it's like the eternal quarantine so 
Anyway, anyway, so it's Shabbat Shalom, everybody. That's why I do it on a Friday afternoon. Huh? Right, Laura? Skippy's here. Skippy, Skippy, Skippy. Are you still as fun as you were in high school? Hey, Chris, I had the same symptoms with no fever. What are you saying? Did you test positive, Chris? So, <clears throat> all right, to repeat, but since you don't know the whole story, so in November, I started not feeling well. And I kept like schlepping myself and this is socialized medicine here. And like people in New York were just like, Alyssa, that cough, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I keep getting tested here and there. Everyone's like saying, you know, nothing's wrong. Like CT lung, I ended up in the hospital. I, God, I had to take an ambulance. They called an ambulance. I was so mortified, but I couldn't breathe. And there I was seven hours gasping for air in the ER. And that was in December. So this is pre-COVID-19 but because I've been sick I was like very like corona COVID aware of things and screaming at the television when there wasn't a full-on lockdown as soon as it hit the shores of places so anyway um my last appointment was canceled because our hospital turned into corona central and so I've left with this cough and run down and it won't go away I mean, I could get a test, but it, honestly, I feel like really strongly about the front line. I have too many friends that are doctors, nurses, and medics. Like I won't take a test and I won't take a, um, you know, PPE or a mask. I do everything on my own and I'm not trying to be righteous. It's just, it's just, I don't know. I, that's how I've been programmed and that's what I've been learning about. So, um, and it's, I don't have fever. So it's just this cough that just won't stop. And I have some of the other weird stuff too, but it's not COVID-19. I'm like, my ex exposure is so little. Wait, no, we tested an egg, but couldn't get a test um, for over a month. And we have another test soon to see if we had it. Wow. I mean, I will eventually when they are tests because the antibody thing, because I, I, I can't really go anywhere, Chris. I'm, I'm coughing all the time and... People aren't, we have mandatory masks now, but they're not wearing them and people are running exercises, cars open. It's an urban area. It's, it sucks. And our streets are narrower than New York city streets. So like if you wouldn't open your car window without a mask driving around New York city, what are you doing in Tel Aviv? It's it just sucks. So all these people just are better than now. So really guys, if you're thinking and you have mandatory masks, you should all be wearing one, but I'm telling you, you should all be wearing a fucking mask. And I say fucking, okay? I said fucking and I don't like to say it. But this is all bringing out a lot of curses because I'm so tired of watching people. Like, you don't know if you're asymptomatic. I'm like, I mean, God forbid. Even if I put a stranger potentially in, in a fatal situation, this virus is a fucking nightmare. Like, even young people that get it, it's just horrible. It's, like, not fun. And you don't know if you're a young person and you have an underlying problem because you never had to deal with it. So good luck to all of us. Hi, Siegele. I'm ranting a bit, Seeks. It's not as fun as last night. Sorry. So anyway, everybody, I'm so exhausted and my throat, I'm just not feeling the vibe, but I came, I showed up. Chris, feel good. Keep in touch. Skippy, write me. I want to tell you funny stuff, Skippy. I have such good, funny memories of you. Just your name makes me smile. So, Sigile, Shabbat Shalom. So, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Claire, who else was here? Karina and Lynn. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow nightish and. How be how be nashikot? Nashikot means kisses. Amon amon ahava. Ahava means love. It's not just a moisturizer. Stay safe, deep, and keep the yeah. You too, Chris. Always so nice to see your name. Like all these people I grew up with, to see everybody's name is just like, it just touches my heart and soul. It's a really good feeling, and that's why I started this. It's like a window on my world. I dream a genie's bottle, and also. Um, you know, just everybody, you know, everybody has like a stable thing to go to and like I keep doing it and I keep showing up and I'm committed to it. So, wow, Milburn High School, we got Greg. Hi, Greg. How are you? Chris, Greg's here. Skippy, Laura, Greg's here. Oh my God, you guys, why don't we just do like a Milburn High School like zoom in that we have so much. Oh my God. <laughs> do it when I feel better and I can, I can drink or something. I can have a cocktail. 
All right, everybody, I'm signing off. Shabbat shalom. It's so great to see all the names. Awesome. Like a rainbow to my soul.